All right. So this video is my way of providing a streamlined how-to to join the Madness Gaming Network. Um, I'm going to be breaking down several things uh, and is... Uh, easy a way as I possibly can. Um, to start, uh, this is a network that I am hosting on a privately built and owned server uh, for pretty much anyone who wants to use it. We primarily host um, for the PPSSPP uh, emulator. Uh, we have pretty much any game that supports peer-to-peer -peer connectivity on there, you can just jump in and play. Uh, the biggest thing right now is Monster Hunter Freedom Unite. Um, the other things that my server tends to host uh, and is specifically tied to uh, our network, which we're gonna talk about first, uh, Zero Tier, is Minecraft. I, I host a Minecraft server. And so once you're done with this, you should be able to pretty much plug and play and go and participate in any of the activities going on on the server. Um, I also, host uh, Ark Survival Evolved uh, maps, but uh, right now I'm looking at upgrading the server's capacity this fall. Uh, right now, I can kind of do one or the other. Um, I can do Minecraft and uh, the PSP emulation, or I can do Ark Survival Evolved. Ark takes a lot of resources. Um, hopefully by the end of the year, I'll be able to do everything simultaneously and uh, it'll just keep getting better. But to begin, let's talk about the network. Now, when people use uh, the PSP emulator to play online, a lot, of, a lot of players are familiar with using a VPN. That's essentially what we have here, but Zero Tier is just a very high grade option. Um, I've been very impressed with them. I've used them for several years and using them as the baseline for my network um, allows my server to act as the host and for everyone else, uh, you can simply plug and play. So what you do is you come to zerotier.com. You're gonna go to download. Now, as you can see, zero tier is supported by just about everything. Uh, to date, we have systems playing on Monster Hunter Freedom Unite that range from a standard desktop running Windows 10 and 11 uh, Windows 10 or Windows 11, um, but we have expanded our support and connections to uh, computers with uh, Windows 7 and Windows 8. We have Android uh, support um, and, and specifically Android user who exclusively uses data to play on. So it, it works over a data connection, a mobile data connection. And uh, just recently today, um, we adjusted some things in the networking side that is allowing for players who only have mobile data hotspots. So if you have a laptop or a desktop with a uh, wireless, uh, you can now play if your only connection source is your mobile data on your phone. So we're covering pretty much everything. Uh, technically, the PSP emulator I have seen uh, support Mac OS and iOS. Uh, I think you have to do some advanced tinkering to get those applications running. However, uh, for both Mac and iOS users, following these steps, uh, downloading Zero Tier and getting everything connected should allow you to play on the network as well. Um, so across the board, uh, what you need to do is get zero tier on whatever device you're using. So starting with that, I, as a Windows user, would click this. Now, I'm not going to show you the setup. I already have it set up on my system. But you're going to click the icon that is connected to your device, and you're going to download and install zero tier. Now, the easy part is getting connected to the network. Uh, the zero tier user interface, the UI, like the main screen, it likes to hide. Um, I'm not sure if you can see my mouse right now, but it's gonna be on Windows. The bottom right hand side of your screen where your extra icons are, um, it's usually down in the little carrot top show hidden icons button. If you click on that and bring up all your other buttons, you should see zero tier. You're going to then click on that and hit join new network. Now, 
uh, in the uh, down below uh, on this video in in the description, I'm going to have the uh, zero tier ID that you need to join the Madness Gaming Network. Um, so in this video, in this video's description, go down there, read it. I will have the uh, join code, the ID code for the uh, zero tier network available there. Now, for Windows users on Windows 8 or below, also in the description, you specifically will need a specific version of uh, zero tier. They no longer are supporting it in the newer versions. So in the description, I will also have the older version to download for zero tier. Now that you've got that set up, zero tier has been downloaded. You have connected to zero tier uh, or to the Madness Gaming Network. You have the ID put in, you're good to go. Let's move over to the, uh, let's, let's move over to the actual PSP emulator. So right at the beginning, uh, you're gonna want to go over to your settings and you're gonna go down to networking. Now I'm gonna go through it just down the list what you need to have uh, checked and what doesn't matter, what doesn't affect anything. So the very first thing, enable networking. If this is unchecked, you can't play, that's simple. So make sure that this is enabled, that's checked. Your MAC address, all this has to be is unique to your system. If you're worried about it not being a unique number, all you have to do is click this a few times and it will randomly generate a new number every time. But the MAC address should be fine. If you're worried, click that a couple of times. Your WLAN channel, make sure this is set to auto. I have in the past considered going to one versus auto, but for now, uh, everyone else on the server seems to be performing just fine with this set to auto. So WLAN channel, auto. This doesn't matter. It works with checked, without checked, don't worry about it. The ad hoc server. Now, if you are playing on my server, you are not the host, you do not want this checked. I've never seen conflicts with this being on, but theoretically it could cause an issue where the game is trying to use you as a host rather than the server. So for now, we're gonna say you want to play on the server, you don't wanna be a host. Leave this unchecked. Here is your uh, ad hoc server's IP. This is the um, static IP. This, this is the IP of the server. It will not change, and if it does, I will update people. But for now, 192.168.192.2 is the standard, that, that is the server's IP. So that is what you're gonna want to have on there. Moving on to a newer addition to the PSP emulator, um, universal plug and play. Now, this has been a bit finicky. Um, it is technically enabled on the server, but it is not required to play. And as a matter of fact, it may say universal plug and play undetected if you have this enabled. You do not have to have it enabled. Um, if you can enable it and it works or doesn't seem to change anything, great. If problems occur, make sure this is unchecked. Right now, this is kind of a wild card. For safety, I would just leave this unchecked. Don't bother with it. I do plan on investigating its performance uh, in the future, but for now, we're leaving that unchecked. Lastly, Everything else in the network settings does not really matter with the exception of a setting at the bottom in miscellaneous. This is the most important setting that cannot be forgotten. If your port offset is not changed, you will not be able to see any other players. You may be able to talk with them in the in-game chat in say Monster Hunter Freedom Unite when you go to the online gathering hall, but you won't be able to see other players that are in there. You won't be able to play with them. Uh, the port offset needs to be equal to 10,000. Make sure that this port offset is changed before trying to change anything else. Um, otherwise, you're, you're not gonna be able to connect. With that said though, that is everything. Uh, this is not a very complex uh, system. Uh, to recap, 
what you need to do in order to play is download Zero Tier One. You need to join the Madness Gaming Network on Zero Tier. So make sure you put in the Madness Gaming Network ID. That will be again in the description of this video. Then technically all you have to do in your PSP emulators networking is come down to your ad hoc server IP, put in this IP address, and then make sure that the port offset is 10,000 and you should be ready to play. Now, a couple things that you need to uh, be ready for. Um, first time setup always tends to be tricky. Uh, I've had people come in, download the emulator, download zero tier, put all the settings in, and on the very first time it just worked. I've also had it where every single part of the devices at play needed to be restarted at least one time. So for instance, uh, the individual playing with a laptop on a mobile hotspot, both devices needed to be reset after first time setup. After that, it should be good. You shouldn't have to reset anymore. It's just first time setup can be a little tricky for all of the networking components to be able to talk smoothly with each other. Uh, in-game, let's let's talk very briefly about how in-game behaves. We'll speed through some of this and we, we may see some other players. When we go to initiate online gathering hall for Monster Hunter, you'll see network initialized. We've connected to the server and it gives us 24 gathering halls to play in. Just real quick to see if we have any other players in, we'll go into the first online gathering hall. Do we have anyone else in here right now? Let's see. No, no one's in here right now. But if we go to the 24th gathering hall, we'll be able to see that the, my server uh, actually has an in-game character. Uh, and if you want to jump in to check to see if you are connected, the server character is going to be in the 24th gathering hall in Monster Hunter Freedom Unite pretty much permanently. So if you want to see if you are in fact able to connect, uh, you can come here and check to see if he's there. Um, now, a, a quick tip about Monster Hunter Freedom Unite specifically. If you have somebody post a quest, everyone joins, and you go to leave, uh, what can happen on rare occasion is the player, or uh, the, the screen will say preparing quest, and it'll be stuck at preparing quest. If that happens, the person who posted the quest needs to restart their computer. Um, if something goes wrong, it's a good rule of thumb, restart your computer. It doesn't happen often, but what is occurring is that person's network, for whatever reason, is binding up and isn't talking to the server very well. Um, and it doesn't necessarily mean everyone in the party has to restart either. Uh, we've had an instance where a friend of mine posted a mission, we started it, went through fine. I went to go post a mission, we got stuck at preparing quest. Had to wait a few minutes for the, the mission to, to disconnect us. And then I restarted my computer and everything was fine. Um, that said, that is how to join the Madness Gaming Network. Um, for more details and specifics on how to join the Minecraft server, I will have that information specific to Minecraft, specific to Ark and anything else that the server's doing available in the Discord. And in each section of the Discord, there will be a, like a how-to or more information for stuff like PSP, uh, Minecraft, uh, Ark, um, any of the hopefully upcoming uh, materials for uh, the MGBA uh, Game Boy Advance uh, emulator that is supposed to be able to support virtual LAN. All of those things will be available in the Discord server and if you have any questions, please don't feel, uh, don't hesitate to reach out. Feel free. I am always available. Um, if any server updates or server outages are going to happen, you'll, you'll see those there. Um, I'll post any new and changing information on the discord. And if you guys are uh, enjoying what we're doing, we're pretty much always doing something once a day on Twitch. And, uh, we'd love for you to come check it out. I hope this makes things a little bit easier. And if you have any more questions, uh, don't hesitate to reach out. Thanks for uh, joining in. And uh, I look forward to doing some hunting with you guys.